This is my 2010 MacBook. I bought it at the start of 2017, used it for a couple of years, and then left it in a drawer to die. Today we're going to be reviving it and installing macOS 10.6 Snow Leopard. Since this machine has no storage drive at the moment, I'm going to be using this Western Digital Green 240GB SSD. I'm also going to steal some RAM from this 2009 Mac Mini I have lying around, and I really wish I had one of those plastic spudger tools, but I've just decided to destroy the thing with this screwdriver. It did the job. Removing the super drive and hard drive portion of the Mac Mini gives us access to the RAM slots. This machine has two 2 gig sticks, so I'm going to steal one of those, bringing the MacBook up to a total of six. At this point, I'm also going to install the SATA SSD. I actually don't have any screws available to mount this thing, so I'm using Velcro. It'll be fine. I also purchased a new battery for this laptop, it was $30 off eBay, so, so long as the thing boots, I will be happy, and there is that plastic spudger tool I was looking for, that would have been handy before. The user manual for this thing is great, it's in mangled English, and it starts with respected user. A couple of years ago I did actually have a horror story with an eBay battery on this exact machine. The thing expanded, but not only that, it started smoking and it made the house stink, I had to rush the thing outside. Hopefully this one's a bit better. It slots into place really easily, but again, I have not been very kind to this machine and I don't have the original screws. We are just going to be dodgy and use some double-sided tape here. It actually seems quite secure, so I'm not going to worry about it. So it's ready for the bottom cover to go back on, and you guys know the drill by now, I'm pretty sure every single screw I put in the bottom of this thing was different. But the bottom is on and that is all I care about. This is my very legitimate copy of Mac OS X Snow Leopard. It's what the Mac originally shipped with, and so I thought it would be nice to install that. And now, I think it's time we activate Dark Mode. I put the DVD into the MacBook, and it went straight from the question mark folder icon to the Apple logo. And here we are in the Snow Leopard installer. I love that Aurora wallpaper, it brings back so many memories. The first thing we've got to do is go into Disk Utility and Erase this Drive. I'm going to choose two partitions, one for Mac OS Snow Leopard and one for Mac OS High Sierra, which I believe is the max OS for this machine. Both are 120GB, so a fair amount of wiggle room for a machine that I'm pretty much just going to be having a mess around on. Now we can go ahead and install the operating system. I'm going to agree to the license agreement, having never read it in my life, and I'm going to go into Customize and keep the install pretty lean, though I will choose Rosetta because I want PowerPC app compatibility. After about 20 minutes, the installation completed. I connected to my Wi-Fi network and took a weird picture of myself here. And here we are on the desktop. I reckon it looks beautiful. In about this Mac we can see we've got the 2.4GHz Intel Core 2 Duo with 6GB of RAM, and in System Profiler we can see the graphics card is the NVIDIA 320M. I tried to access Macintosh repository on this with Safari, but for some reason it wouldn't load, despite loading absolutely fine on all of my older Macs. So I took a leaf from the DMUG book and installed the interweb browser. I wasn't able to download this with Safari, so I downloaded it on another machine and brought it over on USB. I also brought across Mac Tracker, which for some reason didn't work, it said I explicitly had to have 10.5 Leopard, but I also got Coconut Battery, which did work. I think I'll leave it there for now, I've really enjoyed making this one, and I hope to make a few more on this machine in the future. If there's anything you'd like me to try on here, do let me know, I'd quite like to test out the creative capabilities of this machine with the Adobe Suite, and also some era-appropriate games. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.